So in this video, I am going to demonstrate our next packet tracer activity of module uh, one of SRWE course, where uh, we are going to try to implement a small network based on the instructions given in your uh, PT activity. We are going to drag drop some of the devices, create connections between those devices and then configure them so that we can create a network. There are some other packet tracer activities that are uh, from module one, but if you do this, I think it should cover you. It should give you a, a good idea about the other activities, which includes uh, um, configuration, initial configuration of a router, configuration of uh, interfaces of a router. So let's get going. So this is the PT activity 1.6.1. And as I said, you get a clean canvas. There is no topology given here. And based on these instructions, which are go, which are written over here, you have to build your own network. So keeping that in mind, let's start. There are two parts to this. First one is you create the network topology. And the second one is you configure the devices and then verify the connectivity between those devices. Let's start as usually from part one, create the network topology, obtain the required devices, okay? So click the network devices icon in the bottom toolbar. So your network devices is here. Uh, if you see clearly, it's all written down there. Now, this is your network devices. And under this network devices menu, you have multiple devices, routers, switches, hubs, uh, and then you go wireless devices. So it says click the router icon in the submenu. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the router uh, submenu and look at the 1941 router icon. You need to drag drop it onto the topology area. If you see, this is, this is here, 1941 router is here. So just drag, drop it here onto the topology. And after that, it says click the switch entry in the submenu. Now this is your switch uh, entry in the submenu. You click on the switch. You get all different types of switches that you can use. Now look at the 2960, which is the first switch over here. So you drag, drop it. Click and drag the icon for 2960 switch into the topology area. Repeat the step so that we have two 2960 switches. Okay. So let me drag, drop this one. And it says two switches are needed. So I'm drag dropping like this. Okay. So I drag drop like this and then click the end devices icon. The end devices icon is here just beside the network devices icon here. If you see now click on this end devices icon. And on this end devices icon, what you can find is. A second. Uh, if you see, uh, look at the PC icon, drag two PCs to the topology area. Okay, fine. This is the PC which you have. So you can drag drop it. It says to the, we require two PCs. So I'm just drag dropping two PCs all here. This is how it is done. Now arrange the devices into a layout that you can work with by clicking and dragging. I just put a drag drop. This is quite big uh, space over here, no issues. Step two is name the devices, okay? The devices you have, the devices that you drag drop will have default names that you will need to change. You will name the devices as shown in the addressing table. You are changing the display names of the devices. This is the text label that appears below each device. Your display names must match the information in the addressing table exactly. If you don't do that, you won't be scored. Now, let me see here. The router which is selected has given a default name as router zero. I need to change it to RTA. This is the text uh, label that it is talking about. You just simply click on this, okay, you see, and you can just type in R, T, A, and press enter. That should do the job, okay? And similarly for the switch, I can go for, sorry, my bad. I can just click on the small text box over there and I can just type in SW1 and click enter. Similarly for this, I can just click here and SW2. Please make sure that you are entering the same name which is given in the topology here. It's given in the instruction. If you don't do that, you won't be marked. For PC also, the same thing goes on PC hyphen one. And the second PC will be renamed as PC hyphen enter. Okay, this is how we have given them. I created the names, fine. Now, you have to step three is connecting the devices. Okay, now click the orange lightning bolt connections. This is your connections uh, part. If you see, this is here. So click on this orange one and uh, locate the copper straight through cable icon. It looks like a solid black diagonal line. This is the one. If you are, if you don't know what it is, just uh, browse through there. You can see the names written over here at the bottom. The console is there. 
if you can see there is uh, this is the console cable if you keep moving keep observe that the the names change over here so this is the black color diagonal one copper straight through cable you select on this cable and it is asking me to connect between these devices uh, through these ports okay fine if you see rta g0 by 0 port connects with sw1 with g0 by 1 port of sw1 that means you click on this cable click on rta you have the options here this is the g0 by 0 port click on that and you want to connect this to sw1 click on sw1 you have all the list of the ports and it is saying that you connect it with g0 by 1 port done similarly you select another cable you click on rta check click on the other port then come to sw2 click on sw2 connect with the g0 by 1 port so this is how this is how you connect the rta with the two switches according to this table and then the switches are connected to PCs using the F0 by 1 ports. Okay, let me click on that. Click on the switch, F0 by 1 port on the switch with the fast Ethernet because usually we have only one Ethernet port for the PC. Click on that. That's it. Similarly, click on the cable, click on SW0 by 1 of SW2, and then click on PC2, click on fast Ethernet. This is how you connect these devices, okay, accordingly. Now it is asking me configure devices, record the PC addressing and gateway addresses in the addressing table. You can do anything you want to, and you can use any available addresses in the network for PC1 and PC2, and then you can start configuring the router. Now, if you see here, the usually things that we need to do is you have to select uh, one particular IP address for PC1 and PC2 in this particular two lands. Okay, the already the switch one and switch two uh svi is given the default gateway is always the ip address of the interface of the router that means for pc1 the default gateway will be the address assigned for z0 by 0 interface which is 10.10.10.1 now i'm just uh, uh, randomly selecting one ip address for pc1 i can clicking on pc1 going to the ip configuration and on in the ipv4 address because it belongs to lan first lan 10.10. .10 10 dot three because two is already taken for switch i assign 10 dot 10 dot three okay the subnet mask will be the same because it all belongs to the same subnet mask tab so let me do the subnet mask also 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot zero and then the default gateway for pc1 will be the ip address of z0 by zero port i need to give that the z0 by zero port is this so 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot one that is for pc1 this is the address configuration that you do for pc1 okay so let me go to pc2 for pc2 once again i click on ip configuration go to ipv4 addresses so this belongs to 10 dot 10 dot 20 network so i can give any random address 10 dot 10 dot 20 dot uh, 3 and the subnet mask once again it will be the same 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot zero the default gateway for uh, pc2 will be the ipv4 address of z0 by one interface of rta for this side of the network now which is 10 dot 10 dot 20 dot one i need to change that 10 dot 10 dot 20 dot one so I did the configuration for both uh, PC1 and PC2. Now let's start configuring the router. So this is what I have went to part two. Now start, let me start configuration of the router. So let me put it on top so that I won't get disturbed. Now I'm just, yes, fine, let me do this. Router, it says enable, I have to get inside, and then uh, conf t. So first things first, host name is, what do you have? RTA. That's the first command that we need to give. And here it says configure Cisco EPNE as the encrypted password, fine. Let me type in enable secret Cisco ENPA, enable password 55. Okay, so that is what it is given over here. And then it is asking, on all lines that means line console zero enter 
पासवर्ड सिस्को लाइन पासवर्ड 55 एंटर लॉग इन सिमिलरली यू हैव टू डू द सेम थिंग फॉर लाइन वीटीवाई ऑल द रिमोट कनेक्शंस आल्सो सो लाइन वीटीवाई 0 टू 15 एंटर you can use the same you can use up and down arrows line py 55 and then log in so this is how you do it you can uh, give the banner message banner mottd space uh, you can type in uh, no unauthorized access you can type it any message you want fine this is how you do it you all done until now and then you have to configure the interface settings with appropriate descriptions and then save it. So there are two interfaces that we need. So let me go start with zero by one interface Z zero by zero enter IP address 10.10.10.1 space 255.255.255.255.255. And then I need to give the description. Let me type in as description is uh, LAN1. You can type in anything. It just gives you the meaning of or some uh, information about this particular connection. Enter. Most importantly, no shutdown on that. So it's, it's the state should go to up now. And I need to do for the other interface also. Interface Z, zero by one, enter. I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm just going to change this IP address by using the up and down arrows. 10.10. It should be 20 here. 20.1. The subnet mask remains the same for the other interface. Okay. And then let me type in enter. And after that, I need to type in description for this particular interface, line two. Okay. And after that, no shutdown. No shutdown. Okay, so that is done until now. And hopefully I gave the addresses and then I have to save my configuration. Okay, so and come out, copy, running config to startup config, enter, enter. So that's it. So I have saved all the configuration regarding the RTAs ones. So the next thing is it is asking me to configure the SW1 and SW2 interface. Okay, let me do that also. So this is my switch. So let me type on the switch and let me check out if enable. Okay, can you go through the same routine? Enable and configure terminal to enter into the global configuration mode. Conf T. Okay. So after that, and what we need to do is uh, there you go. And you need to assign the SVA interface also. Okay, fine. You need to set up the same thing. So enable secret Cisco ENPA 55. Okay, did I, did I do that right? Yes. And then line console zero password Cisco line PA 55 login and then you have to do the same for line vty 0 to 15 enter i can use the same thing commands let's go and login so after that what we need to do is uh so then not networks now we have to give the svi interface for the switch so if you go to the table it says for sw1 i didn't change the host name so host name yes w1 okay so after doing this now i have to configure the vty interface or the uh, vlan interface or the svi interface so interface vlan1 because it is showing here it is the vlan1 for sw or for the svi interface enter the ip address i have to assign is ip address 10.10. .10 10.2 space 255. This is a subnet mask 
255.0 interface for vlan 1 enter no shutdown enter after this there is one remaining because i need to set the default gateway for this also so ip default gateway command then i type in 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 and then type in enter so here now i type in end and i need to save all this configuration so copy running config to startup config enter enter so this is done on switch one there is one more switch that is remaining over here so let me get on with that also this is the switch two so click let me click on switch two let me start doing it and enter enable on t post name yes w2 enter once again you have to type in go through the same routine enable secret cisco where is this uh give me a second this was cisco enpa 55 enter line console zero password you got to set it up for the console line which is cisco line password 55 enter login Similarly, please do that the same for line VTY 0 to 15, enter. And I can just use the up arrow. Okay, line PA and login. Okay, after this, uh, you are for you. We, we forgot about the service password encryption because it's not specified here, but it is always a good practice to do the service password encryption for any initial configuration of routers or switches okay so later after that what we can do is we need to configure svi for uh, sw2 so interface vlan1 enter the svi ip address is given as 10.10.20.2 so ip address 10.10.10 sorry 10.10.20.2 space 255.255.255.0 and enter uh, let me type in no shutdown and after that i need to give the ip default gateway ip default gateway the gateway for this would be 10.10.20.2 okay because that is the ip address for the z0 by 1 interface okay for z0 by 1 interface i type in default gateway and then i need to oh, sorry and i need to tie a uh, copy all this copy running config to startup config okay now i'm done getting it all up and also all the configurations it shows 100% but to be on the right side, let me just check if I can ping PC2 or not. So click on PC1, go to command prompt, ping, what is the IP address that we have given for PC2? 10.10.20.3. Let me see if the ping is successful or not. If the ping is successful, then obviously our configuration is right. See, ping is successful. So this is how you set up everything up. You can actually create your own network. You can create your own topology by selecting the appropriate devices over here. Okay. So let me stop it here. Uh, thank you for watching. And we will proceed on with uh, module two and module three. Where in module three, we'll have next come up with the other remaining packet address activities where we try to configure VLANs. Okay. Thank you very much.